we've seen in the media uh, stories about the NAR settlement, the National Association of Realtors. Uh, today, I got a couple of calls from clients who were asking me about it. Well, uh, we have been paying attention to this. We uh, we recently went to a conference in the U.S. where this was a topic of conversation, and we have a lot of realtor friends that are down there, so we understand what's happening with it. I think what's important for us in Ontario to know are the differences, and there's there's some facts I just want to share with you about how things work here. So, first of all, real estate commissions are completely negotiable. When you meet with a realtor, either as a buyer or a seller, you're going to discuss the services that they offer, the skills and expertise that they bring to the table, and you're going to negotiate what you're willing to pay for those skills and services. So uh, you may hear in these news stories about fixed commission rates and things like that. That is not a case here in Ontario. The other part of the settlement in the U.S. is that all agreements with buyers and sellers need to be in writing. Well, in Ontario, that is that is that has been the law for a very long time, that buyer and seller agreements are always in writing, and they always clearly specify what is being paid and by whom. So a buyer agreement, for example, when you sign that, you are agreeing that your realtor deserves to be paid and you're actually agreeing to make that payment. The exception is when a seller offers a cooperating commission to the cooperating brokerage, which would be the buyer's brokerage or your agent. That offsets your responsibility to pay your agent. With sellers, when we discuss commission, we discuss the total commission that is charged to sell your home. And then we also clearly identify what portion of that commission is being offered to the buyers. So uh, a lot of what has happened in the U.S. could have been avoided if they had these kinds of processes. And do you have to offer a buyer commission as a seller? No, you don't. And, uh, you know, that's something that we should have a discussion about because it may disadvantage you in the marketplace if you're not offering a buyer commission. It may eliminate some buyers from being able to buy your home. If you're curious about what I'm talking about there, drop me a line, give me a call, and we'll discuss it. Take care. Have a great week.